Detective Kayla Dayloff was never fired for the way she handled, or you could say didn't handle, the Lauren McCluskey case. She was fired for the way she handled a similar case earlier this year, but apparently those two cases combined were not enough to stop the Weber County Sheriff's Office from giving her a new job. Lauren's death on this campus was transformational. I mean, it was a moment in time where every, everything has changed here. After the death of 21-year-old student Lauren McCluskey, one of the biggest concerns at the University of Utah was what didn't change. The University of Utah is on the wrong side of history in how they handled Lauren's case and how they responded to her death. Everyone kept their jobs, including the lead detective who opened the case, listened to Lauren's concerns, and then took time off, coming back to find the student she interviewed killed. That was a rallying moment for us. We want everybody on this campus to be as safe as possible. After Lauren's death, Detective Kayla Dayloff was warned about the school's new no-tolerance policy, the need to act immediately rather than go home when someone might be in danger. We realize people are going to get to the end of a work shift, but you know, having, having people in place, because this is a 24-7 campus. But the university says earlier this year, when the detective interviewed a 17-year-old domestic violence victim who received death threats from a student, she went home for the day instead of making the arrest. This is how her sergeant described it. Quote, the resulting impact of what may have occurred is unthinkable if the male student had attempted or carried out his threat of violence. Yeah, typically we won't speak to personnel issues. Those documents speak for themselves. Dayloff was fired but landed on her feet. The Weber County Sheriff's Office posted this picture, proud of their new deputies. And that's Kayla Dayloff at the front of the pack being sworn in. An attorney for Kayla Dayloff says they disagree with the university's version of events, but they've already appealed the decision and lost. She says her sergeant was just as involved in the decision as she was, and she returned that night to make the arrest. He says, the attorney says, she was a scapegoat for the Lauren McCluskey case. Reporting live in studio, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News.